My grandmother was a semi-professional watercolor oil painter. I would attend these arts and craft shows with her and I would set up a little, a little shop on the grass and I would label the rocks and minerals and I was selling them. That was my first business. I think that entrepreneurship has always been in my blood. Uh, my great-great-grandfather Simon Gershaw ran a business and my great-grandfather Louis Gershaw and my grandfather Milton Gershaw and then my father and then me. I, I was always brought up with the spirit of, you know, the, exploring and adventure and asking questions. When I was 14 or 15 years old, my father got a BMW X5, which is the SUV. And they had these really interesting looking uh, rings in the headlights of 5 Series sedans, BMW sedans at the time. So I started looking online, looking through catalogs, and nobody actually carried these for the X5. They didn't exist yet. So what I did was I took these uh, clear plastic curtain rods and I put them in the oven and I bent them around a coffee can and used the Dremel and put little notches in this clear curtain rod and stuck LEDs in the end of them. And you know, I made these, I simulated the look that I saw in these other BMW models. And I put those into his headlights and he started driving around and people started asking my dad, you know, where did you get those, those cool headlights on your, on your BMW? So I started a website, it was called customangelize.com, and I had five, ten kids working for me in my, in my house, in my parents' house, in the basement, in the garage. And if you wanted your BMW headlights customized, um, we were the people to come to. Maybe two or three years later, while I was still in high school, BMW started putting these, these angel eye rings in every car from the factory. And they were powered by an incandescent lamp, so a yellow, colored lamp. So what I saw was that there was a need in the marketplace for uh, a method to illuminate these angel eye rings in the headlights that would be brighter and a crisp white color. So when I was 17 years old, I developed this upgrade for BMW headlights and it's basically this little plug and play LED unit. That, a, uh, that an owner of a vehicle, of a BMW, would open up their hood, they would remove the stock bulb, and they would plug in this LED bulb. I identified a real need in the marketplace, and I, and I, I use that thought process even to today with my current business, with Remfoss, where you know, I'll find a real need in the marketplace and a, a hole in the marketplace where something doesn't exist, and I'll design a product to come up with a solution. Today what Remfoss does is we're a engineering and manufacturing house for energy efficient lighting. The work we're doing with these energy efficient retrofits is really the bread and butter of the business. And what gets me excited about that is when, you know, for example, I might go out to a project that we've done. We recently did work on the Newport Bridge where we completely relit the entire Newport Bridge with one of our LED screw-in retrofit products. And that's exciting, you know, you can go out, that's a real project that you can drive across the bridge and look up and say, wow, you know, we did this. We're making this bridge brighter, we're making it safer, the car's going over it, and that's exciting. So we're not only creating lighting to be used in dorm rooms, apartment buildings, tunnels, uh, we're taking the innovation that we have in the lighting that we do every day here at Remfoss and we're applying that to medical devices. So anything from, you know, from a, an ultraviolet light source, we're working on a project right now with an ultraviolet LED that will disinfect catheters for patients that have hemodialysis, that's a, a kidney dialysis procedure. You know, that's, that's something that's gonna improve people's lives. It could save lives. And I think that you're gonna see more and more LED lighting used in ways that people have never never thought of before. Now it's not as simple as just turning on a light switch and oh the light comes on. Here at Remfoss we're looking at ways that we can take a, a lighting fixture that that may have no bells and whistles and we can really do some interesting things to it to to create a product that's going to improve people's lives.